Hey everyone, um, welcome to WPF tutorials. In this part, we are going to continue where we left off from our last tutorial. Um, just as a refresher, we last part we added a couple of toolbars with editing um, buttons that allows us to edit and uh, format our content in our rich text box. Okay, with that, in this part, we are going to add a few more buttons and save this content as different file formats. Okay, having said that, um, I'm going to add start adding buttons. Well, actually, I'm going to create a new toolbar. This way, we separate our toolbars in different sections. We could also use menus if you want to, or a combination of about menus and buttons but uh, for this tutorial we're going to use buttons okay um, let's get a name I'm gonna call this save txt and give it a content uh, of save as txt okay so this button will save our content as txt file uh, in addition to that, I want to add a paragraph up top here that says rich text box. Uh, let's get a font size of 50, margin of 0, and the content of rich text box. And let's center the content, text alignment. Let's center this. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this spell check-in. All right. Okay. It doesn't affect anything. Just kind of find the red red squiggly is a little annoying. So, but uh, we already know what it does. Okay, I'm gonna add a click event handler to our button that we just created. And let's create add a new event handler and go to definition. Okay, so I'm gonna create start with a couple of variables. Alright, text range. Let's call this range and file stream stream. Okay. Now I'm gonna say text range, I mean range equals new text range I'm gonna pass in a rich text box dot document dot content start comma the second position is rich text box rich tbx dot document dot content end so from start to end we're selecting the, the range. Next, we are going to create a new instance of the stream, the file stream object. So stream equals new file stream. And we'll pass in, we're going to use it of different overload version. I think it's number three, which is which takes a string pad and a file mode. Okay. So that's the overload version we are looking for. So let's Give it the file name. Let's call this my RTB dot well content dot txt and file access is file mode dot create. Okay. And next we are going to say range dot save and we'll pass in the stream object we created along with we are going to use the second overload version I think well no maybe this one data formats dot text okay so this when we click the button this should save the document as a text file well where does it save it uh, we want to actually you know what 
I'm going to give it a file um, location on desktop. So C, by default, it may create. But let me try this first. I think it's going to create inside the folder. Let's run this. Alright, so I'm going to click the button and we didn't get any errors. Let's see if our file was created. Let me go to Solution Explorer and bring up the uh, file manager. Let's open this in File Explorer. I'm going to go into the bin folder, debug folder, and there you have it. So it created our text file, okay? And with text file, as you guessed it, no formats, or very limited formats, such as maybe tabs, things like that. If you open it in a notepad, you'll see the information is there but most of the formatting is gone and images are gone so it doesn't save the images in text formats but still got plenty of stuff okay so that's text format uh, next we're going to save a XAML file so let's go ahead and create another button I'm gonna just copy and paste it to make things easier and faster I'm just gonna change this from txt that's to XAML and same thing here. Well, I'm gonna create a new event handler. I'm gonna get rid of this click event handler first and change this text to save as XAML. Okay, and let's create another click event handler. likewise I mean this is going to be very similar so I'm just gonna copy and paste this whole thing I mean if you want you can add a if statement just in case the file exists such as let's actually go ahead and do that I'm just gonna enclose this whole thing inside an if statement and say if file exists uh, let's call this my rtb xaml content dot xaml and place an exclamation mark here so that it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, it's going to create. Okay, a couple of errors here for some reason. Uh, we got missing something. Mm. Prince, okay. All right, and then it's going to save this instead of txt we want this to be xaml and this one also is going to be a xaml package actually okay I think we are good over here let's check this out All right so let's click the button we didn't get an exception that means it went it ran the code let's go check our folder and we should have it right here so we have the xaml file here it doesn't show in the preview pane but we know it's there okay and finally let's do the last one as 
RTF. Now, RTF is a re rich text format, so you can open that with a WordPad application, which is probably every computer has these days, or Word application itself. So WordPad is right here. Pretty much every computer has these days. You can use this application to open it, or you can uh, load into your own application that you just created. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and add our button. And it's going to be RT English text. RTF rich text format and let's get rid of this RTF and new click event okay and it's going to be very similar as well so we'll just copy and paste this Okay, and we can now we can change this to RTF. File mode is create, and the file format is going to be RTF. Okay, or else if it does exist, we want to show display a message box and say file already exists okay and let's get rid of this part here to get rid of the error code okay all right so let's test this too let's hit save as rtf says file already exists hmm, that's strange I probably didn't change the file name I did oh this one here okay so it was looking for the XAML file and that's why it didn't create it so let's run this again yeah sometimes um, copy and paste kind of bugs you out okay so let's try again no errors went through fine okay let's check out and let's see let's if I double click this it's going to probably open with the word application but let me see if I can switch to RTB RTF open with mm -mm. it should give me the preview though wonder why and right, let me double click this open with the word application kind of it's a huge application so I didn't want to load that but um, let's see wordpad where's my wordpad there you go if I open this Now I'm going to find that um, file, so the file pad, Let's see, some content is blocked, unblock it, and there you have it, okay, all right. So it kept the formatting and uh, we can still edit in here if you want to. But uh, 
I think that's that's it. Okay, so uh, we basically covered pretty much everything um, about Rich Text Box. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please drop in the uh, comment section. Until the next time, take it easy.